<laughs> Way to start off 2018. I got two copyright strikes. How the fuck am I supposed to make content? What am I supposed to do with my life? Guess I'll just watch anime. Oh, look at all this beautiful anime coming out this season. Winter 2018. It's gonna be... Oh, am I kidding? It's probably gonna suck ass. Basilisk! The fuck are they making a sequel for? You know, the only reason I watched Basilisk was because of uh, a certain Big Titty Kanoichi. You know, if my, if my shinobi shows don't have Big Titty Kanoichis, it's not worth watching. Beatless. Uh, what the hell is Beatless? I've never heard of Dio Midia. What do they even do? Uh, oh, a hoe girl. Oh, it's a light novel, that's good. I believe in that smile. Oh, it's probably just basically a Japanese eye robot. Card Captor Sakura Clear Card Hen by Madhouse. I don't even watch Card Captor Sakura, so I don't really care. Citrus by Passion Eat. Musical Aihara, a high school girl whose main interests are fashion, friends, and having fun. Is about to get a reality check. Oh shit. Even more surprising when May catches Yuzu off guard and kisses her out of the blue. Yeah, I think I might watch that one. Damex Prince Anime Caravan. An adaptation of the smartphone game. Alright, you've already lost me there. And the last adaptation that had a smartphone game? The best fucking anime of 2017. No contest. Alright, so here's the Trigger anime. Joint anime project between Trigger and A1 Pictures that was announced at AX 2017. Actually, this might actually be good. Okay, blah blah blah, sci-fi, a boy named Hiro. Oh. Won't be. Death March, Kara Hajimaru Isekai, oh Isekai. Uh, light novel, 29 year old programmer, on a death march. Yes, alright. Fade Extra, Last Encore by Shaft. Oh Shaft. Shaft makes some good animes. Gakuen Babysitters. No, keep the Gakuen out of babies, Jesus. We don't want that here. It's bad. Gin no Guardians 2, the second season of Gin... No... Or Gin no Guardians. The final arc of Gintama. Wait, really? Gintama ended? I mean, I don't really follow Gintama. That's just surprising. That's interesting. Grand Crest Senki. The series takes place on a continent ruled by chaos. The chaos, chaos, and... Chaos! Chaos! Akata Tonkotsu Ramens. Professional killers, detectives, informants, professional revenge seekers. Those skilled in torture. Why is it called ramens? It's a light novel, but it, it seems like it's a comedy. But this whole summary makes it look like it's a fucking thriller. Hakume to Mikochi. Nine centimeters tall, the tiny girls. These tiny girls live a tiny life. This might be the lolly show of the week. Akiho Shinengi. New anime adaptation of the Hoshin Engi manga with a different voice cast. A bold mission is to plan by the Confederation of the Immortal Masters. Man, I already lost. I can't stop giving shit. Itori no Shita, The Outcast, second season. The second season of Itori no Shita, The Outcast. Ah, I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. Precure. No, oh, I don't watch Precure. Idolish 7. Boy Idols. Oh boy. Wait, there's 17 episodes? That's that's an odd uh that's an odd number. I don't have a vagina, so that doesn't really make me wet. Junji Ito! I mean, that might be interesting. Junji Ito, I don't think they've ever had an anime for Junji Ito, so this might actually be interesting. But I don't know. We'll see how that works. It's made by Studio Dean and uh, Studio Dean is usually like meh when it comes to animation. Although they did do Kono Suba. Rakai Jozu no Takachi-san! If you blush, you lose. <gasps> oh shit. Is this a romance with little kids? Oh man. It's gonna be so lewd. Will he be able to make Takachi-san blush from embarrassment even once in the end? That sounds cute. That's creepy. I'm not gonna watch that. I don't wanna watch little kids be kids. It's weird. Killing Bites. Ah, so this looks like the furry show. Kuei wa amegari no yuni. Akira Tachibana is a soft-spoken high school student. She finds herself inexplicably falling in love with her manager, a divorced 45-year-old man with a young son. What? What? She's a high schooler. Wait, what? Why? Why? It's made by Wit Studios. That's interesting. I, I think I might check that out, but it's just really weird. Kokoku. Yuri Yukawa lives with her neat brother. Oh, neat father and brother. You're a neat father and brother? You just have a family of neats? 
Oh man. That actually might be interesting. If, it's a, if it involves time traveling, it might be good. Ling Chi, Bottom of the Underworld, second season of Ling Chi. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, Chinese. It's my Chinese cartoons. Whatever, man. Mira no Kaikata. When high school student Sora Kashiwagi finds himself staring down a mysterious oversized package sent to him by a self-proclaimed adventurer father, the last thing he expects is for it to be opened from the inside by a little mummy so small it can fit in the palm of his hands. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Alright, that girl looks cute though. Tsuboshi Colors! This looks like the lolly show, but they don't actually look like sexualized lollies. That's interesting. Hark! The city is in peril. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Who are you gonna call? The lolly squad! We got red, blue, yellow! Blue looks like the smug one. Why is the police officer their nemesis? Why, how are these battle- how are they battling enemies? Oh, it's a comedy. That actually might be interesting to watch. I don't know. And probably people are gonna be jacking off to the blue-haired girl. That's for sure. Marchin Machan! It's a lot of girls. Second season of Nanatsu no Taizen. I didn't watch season one. I think it might be good, but I'm not gonna watch it. Second season of Overlord. I actually kind of bummed that I didn't get to watch season one. There's a really attractive succubus character. Uh, it's too bad she doesn't really- did not much loot things of her though. Alright, while we watch it. Top Team Epic. But, it might be good. I don't know, it's, if it's a four panel manga, I don't know if it'll do so well. It'll probably be like Ayura, where it'll be like two minute episodes. Ramen Gourmet Comedy follows the daily life of Kozumi, a high school school who looks like a cool beauty at first glance, but actually has an unexpected side of her that loves ramen. See, now this is the ramen show that makes more sense. What the hell is this ramen one? Ryo no Oshigoto. I've noticed there's a lot of light novel adaptations. I wonder, I, I'm pretty sure most Japanese people are well-read, even if it is mostly garbage. The second season of Saiki Kusuo no Nyan. I haven't seen the first season, but it's made by JC Staff, and you know JC Staff makes some quality stuff, that's for sure. Like Bakuman and Prison School. Sanrio Danshi. Oh, there's Hello Kitty. Yeah, I feel like this is the show that's to sell toys. Definitely a merchandising show. I like Gundam or uh, Star Wars. The bullet train he's in transforms into a giant mighty robot. What? In the anime... Wait, what? That's not the... Oh, that's a franchise story. Okay. Slow Start by A1 Pictures. Well, that seems like a rather sweet anime. Toji no Miko! These young women who wear school uniforms in a store are called Toji. And they serve as a police force within the school. As a special religious service police squad? What? Alright. Never mind, it actually looks really bad. Uchu Yori Mo Toi Basho by Madhouse. The anime story centers on high school girls going to the South Pole, a place further than the universe. Th that doesn't even sound right. <laughs> What, what, why is that analogy there? Whatever. They struggle and grow together as they cope with extreme conditions. Why are they in the South Pole? Violet Evergarden, Kyoto Animation. The show that everyone is masturbating all over. With good reason. It's done by KyoAni. They're like the Disneys of fucking animation right now. Like, you, know, you thought Studio Ghibli was the fucking top tier? Kyo Anime is now top tier. It's probably gonna get better. But, you know. We don't know. It's a light novel. I haven't read the light novel, so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. It'll look really nice. Simulcast on Netflix is gonna be a big deal. Everyone's gonna know what this show is. So, that's either good or bad in terms of, like, what your perspective is on anime in general. I think it'd be really good, because it'll make anime more mainstream. Especially, like, non-shonen anime. I don't think there'll be much action. It's gonna be a good drama. But yeah, everyone, this is definitely a show to look out for, and it might be good. I will run as fast as I can to whatever my customer desires. I am the Auto Machine Emery's doll, Violet Evergarden. No! Oh no, don't loot her. I actually like her design, she's actually very attractive. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Y'all want Mushi Pedal Glory Line for season? I don't. Yuru Camp. Alright, yeah. Rin is the best girl video isn't just a joke. Rin stands above your trash. This is the best show of the season. Second season of Doku Token Rambu, I don't know what that is. 
And then here's some shorts. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them. The only one that's uh, probably more biggest one is the Dangai Shihashi second season. They want their whole Taro no Hahe goes. Alright, I actually forgot about this season's OVAs. Um, there's actually some pretty good ones. But yeah, Devil Man Crybaby actually looks really good and it's gonna be on Netflix, which is also the same as Violet Evergarden. I'm not sure if it's gonna be simulcasting as well, but that's gonna look good. It's being directed by Masaki Iwaza. And if you don't know who he is, he basically is that weird animator that's super avant-garde and everyone masturbates all over him. But I, I, love, I love ping pong. Tatami Galaxy was alright, and I haven't seen any of his other works, but I can tell that his animation style is great. Other than that, there's also that new Fate series by Uko Table, and then there's a new production IG anime, which actually looks kind of interesting. I'm not too excited over it, and I haven't seen Ray Life, but you know, people are actually happy that there's a conclusion. And of course, there's a there's a new Shin Mai Mao, if you you want to start masturbating 2018. But yeah, that's uh, winter 2018. Is it good? I don't know. It's anime. Am I still gonna watch it? Yeah. I don't really have a job. I should probably get a job. I should probably stop watching anime. If you ever want, you guys want to talk about any shows coming up that I should look out for, you should comment down below. You can also like and subscribe, and all that other nice things that anime channels do. But you know, this is Satsumi. I'm a neat. I'm still, I still, I'm still unemployed. That's why I make YouTube videos. And see you in the next video.